Fall is in full force and Halloween is just around the corner. Uh, but before you head out to find that classic orange pumpkin, you might want to check out the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum. As Molly Rosenblatt shows us, they have hundreds of different varieties, many of which are for sale. It's just amazing that in one season from, you know, basically at the beginning of May or June, you can get such a huge fruit produced in, this, in just a mere two or three or four months, you know, so that's what's really cool for us. Over 250 different varieties with a resulting yield of 10 tons of pumpkins are center stage here at the Arboretum. Grower John Tool started planting in June. He says their bounty would have been bigger if it weren't for the wet weather. When they were setting fruit in August and we had those heavy rainfalls coming through, uh, we had a lot of blossom rot and, you know, a lot of these pumpkins didn't quite make it. Tool says although they could have had more, 10 tons of pumpkins is plenty. And many of them are actually squash. Both, in fact, are in the same family. Cinderella pumpkin, for example. Oh, yeah. It truly is a squash, but. I think people use it a lot more for, for decorating than they would for eating. So the, the line between a pumpkin and a squash is totally blurred. And from decorating, carving, eating to smashing, there are just as many ways to use a pumpkin as there are varieties. The seeds then are very green and very nice and soft and, and immediately... It just looks like somebody glued peanut shells on there, basically. And with all the different species comes a long list of creative names. The big white one here is called polar bear. So it's kind of a, got a big, it's one of the biggest sized white pumpkins that you can grow. Molly Rosenblatt, WCCO4 News. Yeah, thousands. Uh, pumpkins and squash are for sale, which is just down the road from the Arboretum. And we have more information for you at WCCO.com slash links.